What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Trayvon, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in the front gate of Mauville City, and uh, yeah, trust me guys, I was uh, very, very impressed when I first saw this. It kind of looked like a mall to me. It really did. Yeah, it really impressed me, so let's go right ahead and take a look what, what's inside, what is being offered. As you can see... Looks like a goddamn mall. Doesn't look like a city at all. So let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on right there, because Wally's right there, huh? Wow, so this is Mallville City. <laughs> you sure seem to be enjoying it, Wally. So what do you uh, like to do? Do you want to grab a bite to eat at the Mallville Food Court? Or maybe uh, would you like to get a bike, uh, of, or would you, or maybe we, sh we should get a get a, you a bike of your own at Rydell's Cycles. Would you like that? I bet the exercise would do you would do good uh, for your health. No, thank you. I want to challenge the gym right away. What? Let me see. I'm pretty sure the gym is. Uh, well, let's see. I don't know. It's oh yep. Yeah, it's straight ahead. It's straight up here, just through the inner courtyard. Okay. And uh, the well, he's like, wait, 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 hey, wait, Wally. Okay. Well, very impatient kind of Pokemon trainer right there. Okay, so here is Mauville City. Again, looks like a mall, and uh, you're going to be finding a lot of stuff right here, guys. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the map right here. We are right here, the bright, shiny area of fun. And, uh, well, we can find the bikus area, the gym. Um, uh, let's see. A few other stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be finding a lot of stuff. So first things first, let's grab this. We found ourselves an X-Speed. Not bad. And, uh, well... Let's see, we're going to be going from portion to portion right here. Let's see, uh, what does this say? It's a ticket vending machine for parking bikes, okay. We can get our bikes right here, talk to that guy. I think he'll give us something, right? Mauville's a great, oh yeah, city for bikers, plenty of park for bikes, yada, yada, yada. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, so there are like two floors and there are different like different kinds of malls or areas for this. The Mellow Blend Coffee and Music Cro Crooners Cafe. Let's go right in here and see what's inside right here. Now, this right here is going to be like a slight preview of what uh, Pokemon X and Y is going to look like. There's nothing but cafe cafes right here. Let's see. Talk to this guy. I work for this Move Academy in this city. This thing is, uh, we have no students right now, and that's why I'm drinking a lot of uh, well, fresh water here. Ah, if only I could. I'd love to teach the Move uh, Keldeo or Meliota. Well, maybe if we get it, then he will actually teach us a, that move, which it, I guess he will. Do you want to know how a great spot for Mauville? It's the Pokemon Pokemon Reflexology Services, obviously. You know everybody everybody wants their Pokemon to be friendly towards them, right? Okay, so we got to visit that place, and then uh, I'm going to memorize po uh, people everywhere with my guitar, or mesmerize people with pe uh, everywhere with my guitar, and this Pokemon's voice. Okay. And uh, let's see, music is a mysterious thing. Just listening to a song I, I used to hear transports me back to that time. Same here, same here. I usually say that, like, I usually say the, like, uh, maybe a CD, a full album, reminds me of a certain grade that I was. Like, Linkin Park's Meteora, it reminds me of middle school. It really does. And then uh, other such sorts. And then, uh, let's see. Thank you for the support over the years. Good game, Mobile Game Corner owner. Okay, so there's no gambling place right here. That kind of sucks. Hold on, let's see. What does this guy have to say? I used to run a business here, but I had uh, to close it for reasons you don't, you don't need to know. Anyways, I still have some prizes left. Do you think you want to take one of them? Yes, I do. And we get ourselves our first doll, which is a Trico. And a Torchic doll. Okay, okay. Give me a Mudkip. Yes, sir. Look at that Mudkip doll. Thank you, thank you! I can tell you they are happy too. Okay, so that's another cool thing right here. Now, what is this one right here? Full of glasses. Hi there, welcome to the specialty mirror store. Basically, we deal uh, in mirrors and mirrors alone. We only exhibit and sell mirrors my husband collects from who knows where. So we don't have very many on sale. This mirror, for this mirror, by the way, is said to be used by tornadoes, thunderous, and landrous. I have no idea if that's true. Okay. Okay, I don't even know. Well, in this game right here, you can capture these three Pokemon. And, uh, well, believe it or not, those three Pokemon are specific Pokemon of timing. Uh, again, like I said, guys, do not change the clock on your on your game. It will 
pause everything for a whole day. You don't want that. You really don't want that. There are specific Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, you can capture here at specific times. Which we will be getting into later on. And uh, let's see, this person here is like, I'm the eldest of four sisters. Route 17, 117 is down this corridor in the west. There's a daycare center for Pokemon. Okay, I will be going there pretty soon. And then, uh, let's see, talk to this lady. Welcome to the Ritzy Ribbon uh, Retail. Would you, uh, what would you like today? Well, I really don't have any kind of a ribbons right now. I would like to get ribbons, collect ribbons and all that stuff, but not right now. Now, if you go here, he's like, would you like to trade Pokemon for prizes? Hmm. Let's see, what kind of info do we have here? Okay, I will have uh, enough Pokemon eventually. I mean, uh, let's see, I do switch my Pokemon Omega Ruby game into the Pokemon Bank, and it actually gives you Pokemon. So eventually, I'll collect that and then trade, so, you know, for some items and all that stuff. Now, what does this pretty lady have to say? Hanging around and doing nothing is like the best leisure activity in all of Hoenn. I bet. Never mind. And let's see, this is uh, the Reflexology place. Okay. Yeah, Pokemon can receive massage treatment here. Would you like to give your Grove Wild treatment? No. Actually, I kind of want to give... I want to give my, uh, whatchamacallit, my Toxic Batman a little bit of a treatment because it's still got one more evolution to go. Yes, yes, and yes. Alright, let's start with that massage right there. And, uh, well... That's it. I'm all done there. Massage made your Pokemon a little bit more friendly towards you, it seems. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And that was for free, I think. Okay, so let's see. Before we do anything, I think we got one more thing to do here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and go with uh, Sage of the Halo right here. Because, uh, yeah, somebody's going to be waiting for us right here. As you can see, we're going to be close to the Pokemon Gym, and Wally's going to be there. And he's going to be like, Uncle, I'm begging you. I want to challenge this gym to see how much stronger I've become. Please, you'll let me, won't you? Now, hold on, Wally. It's certainly true that you've grown quite a lot stronger alongside your Pokemon. But I don't think that you could, or, but don't you think jumping into a challenging a gym uh, might be pushing it? Nope. I'm not pushing it. If it's me and my Ralts, we can beat anyone! Not really, you haven't beaten me, and look at that, he just looks at me. He's like, ah, Draven! Ralts and I have gotten a lot stronger since we first met, growing together. I want to prove that I want to prove that to you and my uncle both, Draven. Okay, please, help me once more. And have one more battle with me. He looks a little serious, so I'm gonna be like, okay. Thank you, Draven. Okay, here we go! We're going to win this world. We have to. Oh, damn. He's going to turn Super Saiyan uh, nothing. Okay, so here we go, guys. Another team, another battle against our good old buddy, Ralt. Nah, I'm just playing. Wally, and he will have one Pokemon. So here we go. Sage of the Halo coming out. Looking like a nice piece of stack meat right there. So let's go, Fury Cutter. And, uh, oh wow, I would have thought I'd beaten him but with one move. That would have been the most embarrassing thing. I think I did that in the last episode, or in the last time I did. I did this, you know, Pokemon Emerald. So here we go. Leaf Blade. Alrighty. And, uh, well, that's the end of that story. <laughs> Not that strong, buddy. Not that strong. He's like, wow, you're really strong, Draven. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And because of that, he's going to be like, oh, God. Uncle, I'll go back to Verdantruff. Draven, thank you for being a trainer is tough, isn't it? Isn't it enough to just uh, battle with your Pokemon? I can't become a true trainer like that. Not really. Wally, there's no need to get down on yourself. Why? What's keeping you from becoming stronger? Nothing is. All you need to do is keep growing. The kid's like, dot, dot, dot. Come on, let's go home. Everybody's waiting for you. Yes, Uncle. Draven? I, I'm definitely... I want to get much stronger. Much, much stronger. I feel like I learned a lot from just one Pokemon battle with you. About my own limits and Ralts's. So, um, that's why, Draven, if it's alright, could I... Could I call you my... my, my, my 
Oh, God. He doesn't want to say it. Oh, never mind. Sorry. It was nothing. Please forget about it. Oh, poor kid. See, you can look, you can take the, you can see the look on his eyes when he's strong and when he's like just afraid. Poor kid. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, well. All right. Hey, he's a good kid. He's like, it just dawned on me uh, that you must be a young man who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. So it's uh, you we have to thank for Wally becoming so positive about the future. Thank you. And he just looks at me. He's like, ah, here, take this. I want you to have it as a bit of a thank you. And would you look at that? I'm throwing out the peace sign. We get the HM06 Rock Smash, which we will be needing for later on. And he's like, even if there's uh, an obstacle in your path, I think you'll be able to break through them. Especially if you use that Rock Smash there. Mm, we should be heading back now. If you ever have time, I'd love it if you drop by our home at Verdant Turf. I'm sure Wally would enjoy it too. We'll look forward to seeing you. Okay, very ready. So that was nice right there. So we already know where the gym is at now. And uh, well, now we're going to be going straight to, let's see, another area right here. I think if we go down here, well, you can actually find the Pokemon Center. Which we will be going to because we kind of need to heal our Pokemon right now. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we not strong yet. That's why we're going to be taking a few episodes to strengthen our Pokemon. You know, get a little stronger, beefier, awesomer, side quests, Gattaca, that kind of stuff. So, don't be amazed, or don't be surprised if I haven't uh, already gotten another gym badge right here. So, let's see. Oh yeah, if you go right here into the uh, Pokemon, you will be able to buy a few good, uh, a few good TMs right here. So if you talk to this guy, well, let's see what he has. You'll actually have a few good HM or TMs like Venishock, Aerial Ace, Facade, Low Sweep, Charge Beam, Bulldoze, Dragon Tail, and Power Up Punch. And as you can see right here, <laughs> they're all 10,000 uh, Pokeballs. Yeah. It's going to be a while before we get all those TMs, but I have my eye on quite a few TMs right there. So let's move on forward right here and uh, find some more stuff that we can do right here. So first and foremost, let's go into the bike shop and... Uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's going to be like, well, well, what do we have here? Hey, most energetic customer. Me? You can call me Rydell. I'm the owner of the cycle shop. Your shoes. They're awfully filthy. Did you come far from far away? Yes, sir, I did. Hmm. hmm. You're saying you came all the way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you would go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to tell you that there are two kinds of bikes. There are the bike, the, the mock bike and the aggro bike. Mock bikes are for cyclists who want to feel the wind in the uh, blowing in the, as they ride. Aggro bikes are for those who prefer the technical ride. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can, uh, you can have whichever one you like. Which one would you choose? Well, you can actually switch out bikes in this game, and believe it or not, you can actually get both bikes. It just uh, you just need a few steps in order to get these both bikes, which we will be going through later on. But for right now, I'm going to be getting the mock bike because we will be going into the uh, into the cycling road and all that stuff. Actually, I might be going with the acro or the mock bike or the acro uh, the acro bike. Yeah. Okay, so we got that taken care of, and actually, let's go ahead and register that thing to our, uh, whatchamacallit now. Where's my pen? Oh, there you are. Okay, there we go. Pen, 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 and, uh, well, there's the mock bike. Register, that's another thing registered. Remember, you can actually register four items at a time right here. And, uh, well, let's see... Uh, if you talk to this kid, even if you're riding a bike, you can jump you. Okay, yeah, Pokemon will actually jump you. So, let's see. What is next right here? Let's see. What is this? Oh, hold on just a sec. Same old battles you got down. Turn it up. Inverse Battle Shop. Yeah, you can actually have Pokemon battles right here. Inverse battles, which means, uh, yeah. Let's just say if you're using a, a Water-type Pokemon against a Fire-type Pokemon, that Water-type Pokemon will not be effective against that Fire-type Pokemon. You know, it's a reverse battle, basically. And test your battle met or Mattel Battle Institution Hoenn. So if you guys remember in Pokemon Emerald, there was a battle institution 
like right up north from here and uh well i think they took that out and put it right here as a shop and uh, maybe we will be uh checking that thing out later on and uh, let's see what do they have right here i think this, these guys teach us something learn moves through dance this is the tut move tutoring studio ultimate we can teach you the ultimate moves through dance darling that's what we do tell me darling he likes to call me darling a lot shall we teach your lovely little pokemon some moves i guess and uh oopsie daisy none of your lovely pokemon here can learn the ultimate moves we're pretty exclusive who we take as students talk to our staff to see and uh, know or yeah to know more so what do we have to see let's see list the pokemon that can learn our lessons okay okay so it's the starter pokemon okay so why didn't it uh, well I, okay oh okay so it, the f yeah the full evolution so right now my pokemon is not fully evolved eventually it can learn the ultimate move not right now though and this is the move tutor tutoring dojo you got pokemon from my professor it makes no difference it's gone uh, ahead and evolved into something else since then so long as it's really friendly towards you i'll teach you an unbelievable move want to learn a battle combo move sure man this pokemon it's nowhere near friendly enough towards you oh wow so it would look like that my pokemon are not that friendly right now really aren't that friendly and uh well let's see what is next uh well uh okay this part right here we will eventually get to i think you need some specific things to do now we're going to be going upstairs right here uh, believe it or not there is an upstairs area right here and uh, let's see what this guy has to say do you watch the buzz nav programs on the buzz nav are broadcast from the tv station here in the entire hohen region okay i don't think we will be visiting that if you guys don't know what that is it's actually this thing right here the buzz nav and uh well there we go yep 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 so look at that it's a uh, it's pretty much a special report it will actually tell you like some different stuff that you'll actually find it might even talk to you or might even talk about you as you can see right here it's talking about uh us uh from lazia or lazlia or i can't remember her name but yeah she's talking about being a, a cool contest star and all that stuff which we will eventually do i think hopefully maybe i don't even know Okay, so let's see. We're upstairs right here, and uh, as you can see, there are some suites around this area which we will be getting to. I think you need a specific key for that. You need to progress a little bit more. And uh, well, I used to ditch class to come here as a student, but I can't get away f with that now that I'm a working man. Sigh. Oh, okay. Well, that is true. Our ditching days are over, and uh, well, I don't think there's an item right here. Hold on. Oh wow, this guy right here is like, okay, hand please. Oh wow, look at that, nice enough to give us a nugget. Okay, alrighty, a mighty fine nugget, all yours now. Hope it pans out for you. Okay, there's nothing funny about nuggets. And uh, he is done, okay, so that guy is nice enough to give us a nugget. And see there, take a good look. Raw talent standing before me, a full of fear yet shining brightly. They could be the next big stars in uh, the, the contest circuit. Indeed. Hmm. The hell? Oh, it looks like you quite, looks like you have quite a bit of promise yourself. I must push you to participate in the contest uh, the contest spectacular <laughs> spectaculars as well. Okay. Alrighty. And then uh, let's see. I think there's an item right here that you can actually get. Let's see. Maybe you have to talk to this guy. Today I'm off from work, but I'm just thinking about going back tomorrow. It's dragging me down. I feel I'm so motivated. Okay. And then, uh, well, I don't think anybody can give us anything. But this person right here, let's see. I'm an old busy buddy. What of it? I'm not shy of telling you how nice it were, the folks. Now then, with certain whippersnappers, get on that PSS and start handing out O powers. Make others happy and you'll find your own happiness right enough. Well, O powers, if you guys don't know, in Pokemon X and Y, that's what they're, they, that's what they come out with. And I believe that kind of powers up your Pokemon maybe uh, once or twice. You know, you can actually use it during a battle and all that stuff. Not very familiar with it, but, you know, it's a pretty nice thing to have, I guess. Comment down below. Let me know what that is. 
And then uh, gazing through the vastness of the sky, watching the clouds flow. I imagine soaring through the sky on the back of a Pokemon. Okay. Okay. And uh, let's see. What do you have to say? Hey, kid, listen to this. I got this here metronome that was used by a super famous musician. If you're really desperate, I guess I could let it go for, say, 1,000 Pokebucks. How about it? Sure, why not? Let's get this metronome. I think you can actually use this metronome as a... to... maybe to evolve a Pokemon? I don't know. Should have given it to you for nothing, but it ain't, that ain't how the world works, eh? Here's how to use it. Hand it to a Pokemon, and then in, 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 in a battle uh, with the same move over and over, it'll get stronger and stronger, just chipping away. I should have said that. That super famous musician I mentioned, right? Me. I'm just too popular for my own good lately, so I'm not an idol or anything, but I just gotta dress like a, like this whenever I leave the house where I get clobbered by fans and paparazzi. <laughs> well, that is true. That is true. So, Lexi. Uh, let's see what this metronome does. Hold on. Lexi. I'm gonna go down right here. Metronome. And, uh... Yeah, okay, so yeah, it does boost up the moves of any kind of moves. And then uh, here we have a, well, a Taylor. And uh, well, I don't think that's, like, I don't think we have anything else right here. Let's see. Hey, Squirt, you like Pokemon? Yes, I do. You really like them? Yes, I do. Would you even say you love them? Yes, I do. You'd really say you love them? Yeah, I do. Then I'll give you this. We get ourselves a Poke Toy. And I don't know what that does. See, I like Pokemon. Okay, what does a Poke Toy do? Let's see. A toy that attracts the attention of a Pokemon. It guarantees escape from any battle from the wild. Okay, so... Yeah, that, that just, you know, it just covers up everything right there. So, uh, let's see. I think, uh, let's see. Why would I, anybody ride... Oh, okay. Why would anybody, anyone ride on this kind of thing when uh, you got a real Pokemon to ride on? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you can't ride on this, but in Pokemon X and Y, I think you can. And, well, grass type Pokemon. And I guess that's pretty much it right there. I don't think anybody else is going to give us anything. Take a good look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ouch, Taylor is a lucky one. Way up high, with a touch of uh, the wind ruffling its feathers. Huh. Okay, well, that's pretty good right there. Well, that is pretty much it right there, guys. So we're going to be going downstairs. And I think that is our adventure right here for Mauville. Now, we could visit the cafe, but that's uh, a few extra battles here and there. I think you can actually get like a... Uh, you know what? Let's go right ahead and just battle. So take a look at this. Somebody's looking at us. He's like, hey there, trainer. This is your first time being here, right? This core is a bit strange, so there are some rules you have to follow before you eat. I come here all the time so I can tell you about them. Number one, place your order at the counter. There are three items at the menu there, so order whatever you like. When you're done ordering, the restaurant staff will give you a buzzer. Number two, sit on the chair while you wait for your food. It may take you a while to order, or it may take a while for your order to be ready. Have a seat and wait. And here's the important part. While you're sitting and waiting for your food, others will come and battle you for your seat. You have to fight back if you want to eat the meal you ordered. Number three, eat your food. When the buzzer go off or goes off, it means that your order is ready to be picked up uh, at the counter. All that's left to do is to sit back down and eat. What do you think? Easy, right? Well, you've come to the well. You come all this way for here, so why don't you order something? Since you're the first time, or since this is your first time here, maybe you should uh, order a village sub combo. The restaurant is a chain from Unova that will just open here. It's easy to eat, so it's pretty popular with kids who like single battles. All right, then. See you later. Enjoy your time at the Mauville Food Court. He talks a lot. Oh, my God. Okay, of course, we're not going to be battling right now. Yeah, we're not going to be battling right now because it's a lot of battles, guys. And, uh, well, I'll probably show it to you in another time. But right now... The important part is that we got to Mauville, we did a nice tour of the whole place, and we got our bikes, and now, we got plenty of options for this whole thing right here. Um, we can go to the cycling road, we can go, actually we can go to different places now that we got the mock bike, 
Hell, we could even go west, northeast, south. Yeah, we could even go west of here, Mauville City. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be battling. We're going to put that whole Mauville City gym on hold for just a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys. <laughs>